We all believe that our dogs are the cutest furry babies on the world. However, the reality is that there are some quite weird canines out there. Some people actually enjoy the peculiarity of some dogs, so the stranger the dog appears, the better it is. In order to discover the strangest and weirdest dog breeds. Of course, this is always a matter of taste, and many people won't find anything strange about the way these dogs look. Let's take a look at the amazing array that the canine world has to offer, of course, in no particular order of strangeness. Let's start. Chinese Crested The Chinese crested dog's head, ears, feet, and tail are covered in flowing fur, but the rest of its skin is hairless, revealing flesh that may be black or pink. They can have fur in a variety of hues, such as black, white, slate, and blue. Many owners find them attractive since they don't shed. They are believed to have originated in Africa before being introduced to China. These dogs are lovely family pets because of their friendly, energetic, and playful nature. Commodore. No other dog has the same appearance as the adorable Commodore, who is a large dog. The breed originated in Hungary, where they were initially bred to herd livestock. Their distinctive characteristic is a coat that grows in cords and looks like tresses. These dogs need a firm hand because of their huge size and large personalities, but they also make extremely devoted family pets. Although its unique coat is typically white, it can sometimes have cream or black coloring. Zoloit Squintly One of the oldest dog breeds we have is the Zoloit Squintly, which can be traced to the Aztec civilization. These dogs, sometimes known as Mexican hairless dogs, have lengthy connections to the spirit world and their populations formerly declined as a consequence of their relationship with paganism. Most, but not all, of these dogs are hairless and they have a sleek body with large ears, their wrinkled forehead gives them an expressive face. Although they are loyal and guard dogs, they require a lot of mental and social stimulation. Brussels Griffin the Brussels Griffin was developed long before mixed breeds like the Cockerpoo were well-liked. It was officially classified as a breed in the late 1800s and is actually a cross between a pug, an English toy springer, and an often pincher. Brussels Griffin are small canines that come in a variety of colors, such as brown, blue, black, tan, and beige. You'll get a cute puppy with lots of personality, so be on the lookout for bossy qualities. They enjoy being near to their owners, but if they have anything to say to you, they may be rather noisy about it. Bedlington Terrier The Bedlington Terrier is a little, loving dog with a strangely arched back and a head that resembles a pear. They were initially developed in Bedlington, England, to hunt rats in commercial settings. They resemble sheep somewhat because of their unusually curly coat, although many owners appreciate that they don't shed. Compared to many other terrier breeds, this one is more clever, friendly, and submissive. But they still have that terrier tenacity, which makes them a little difficult to train. Because of their noisy nature, Bedlington Terriers may not be suitable for apartment living. An ideal family for one would have an extremely active lifestyle and have a spacious home and garden. Russian Borzoi The Russian Borzoi is a breed of dog that merits second looks. They initially have the appearance of a greyhound, but then you notice all the fur. They were originally developed in Russia for fox and rabbit hunting, and they have a very quick pace. But when they're at home, they're completely relaxed and lazy slobs. Although most dogs are calm and serious, some can become the family clowns. They do not, however, perform well when left alone, therefore a family that is gone all day will not be suitable. They can be fussy eaters, which makes feeding them a difficult. Bull Terrier The Bull Terrier's head is the only distinctive feature. The world's dog lovers are divided on their appearance. You either adore or detest their lengthy face and short, wide eyes. 
In any case, it's clear that this breed has struggled in the past as a result of its associations with blood sports like dogfighting and bullfighting. They can make wonderful family pets these days, but they do need to be raised properly. Bears are energetic and bright, but because of their stubbornness, training them will require persistence and a firm yet gentle approach. This breed's coat, which comes in a variety of colors including black, white, tan, and red, needs very little care and makes an excellent guard dog. They would not be the greatest choice if you have young children because they very rarely get along with other house pets, particularly cats. Sharpe. The cute Sharpe is all about the wrinkles and the squish. These Chinese-bred, medium-sized dogs were created specifically for fighting. The creases are not a fashion statement, they are there for safety. Their skin folds will require particular care when it comes to grooming in order to prevent infection. Houses with only adult are ideal. They will be an exceptionally devoted and loving member of the right family. They are independent, serious pups who, if improper training is not provided from an early age, will develop into headstrong adults. They are also extremely suspicious of strangers, which is wonderful for a guard dog but disastrous for a family pet. For this reason, early socialization is crucial for this breed. These dogs are best suited for households with older children or adults only. They will be an exceptionally devoted and loving member of the right family. Neapolitan Mastiff This very striking breed is huge and has unbelievable wrinkles. The Neapolitan Mastiff is one of the world's giant breeds. They are no lap dogs, but like to think that they are. This breed still has a strong protective instinct despite its proud and long history as guard dogs in ancient Italy. They are not the ideal choice for people who live in apartments, unless it is a big one, or for first-time dog owners due to their scary size. You are not given the option to take them up and carry them out of a precarious situation. They would love to have a yard to patrol, and they do require activity to keep from getting fat. Additionally, these individuals have some particular habits that some people can find annoying. That involves snorting, grunting, and breaking wind. This dog is appropriate if you want a polite canine. Peruvian Inca Orchid Our last option is another hairless dog. The hairless dog of Peru is another name for the Peruvian Inca Orchid. Another ancient breed that may be dated to prehistoric times, when it was developed as a sighthound and used to hunt small rodents, is this one. It has a sleek form and an athletic physique like other sighthound breeds. When it comes to temperament, this breed can be quite complex and you never really know what you are going to get. Some are quite wild and others are docile, but they are all very sensitive and hate to be left alone. They do well in apartments and only need 30 minutes of exercise a day. However, watch out for their phenomenal prey drive. If they spot a rabbit or squirrel, they will give chase and you will not be able to keep up with them. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and check out other videos on the Megmare Puppies channel special for dog and puppies. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.